My name is Rachel Smith and in July last year Pembroke employed me to record a year in the life of the college and this exhibition brings together some of the things that I've photographed, reported on and collected. I think for me putting together this exhibition has really shown the variety of the things that take place in just one year at Pembroke. For the main part of the exhibition I've put together a timeline which shows you some of the key things that have happened this year and that's everything from the Tour de France to the Tompkins table, Freshers Week, Gingerbread Chapels, the Coppers Football Final, a visit from Carluccio, our open days, rowing, dinners and plenty more. There's so much variety and diversity in what goes on here, from our undergraduate and graduate students, to the activities of our fellows and our staff, and also our alumni, and all the other communities that make up the family that is Pembroke. I've also got a collection of objects that reflect some of the things that have happened. We've elected a new master. We've seen another generation of students come and go. There have been events throughout the year in our chapel, and great success in the college kitchens, the staff have been having fun with a sports day and a talent night. Our graduates have continued to enjoy themselves with their pubbard. Our head gardener, Nick Furman, reached 50 years of continuous service at the college. The maintenance department continued to fix all manner of things and unearthed some interesting objects in a clear out of the basement. Many of the student societies, including the Stoke Society, have been extremely successful and one graduate student even managed to cycle around the world. Our housekeeping department have donned their marigolds and our alumni have published an impressive range of books. This year we've been marking the centenary of the beginning of World War I. We've also had a series of events called Pen Women at 30, marking 30 years since women were admitted to the College of Students. It's 350 years since the consecration of the chapel, so there's been lots to remember, lots to celebrate and there's plenty to look forward to.